Hi, this is Charlotte, and I have my very first reborn here, baby Alexis. She's sleeping real good and laying on my shoulder while I answer tag questions. I was tagged um, by my random life 67. So I'll get started here. It says, Who is your favorite singer? slash songwriter that would be Barbara Streisand I love I love everything about her her acting her singing and her songwriting number two your favorite band that would be Aerosmith I love Aerosmith and I love uh, to listen to them it always puts me in a good mood and I just love Aerosmith Let's see, number three. What all time hobby what was your all time favorite hobby before you got into reborns? Well believe it or not, I um was a breeder of Pomeranian puppies. For many years I bred show Pomeranian puppies and my Pomeranians are the ones that have the little tiny short noses and um they're small, like I have one now that's two pounds. None of mine were ever over five pounds. And uh, with a real, real huge coat. And they were just precious little. I still have some, but they're just my pets. But they were uh, just darling little palms. When they were babies, they just looked like little bears, little furry bears. And I specialized in whites, which are kind of rare. I got my breeding stock from all over the United States. And... Uh, that's what I did was try to try to breed especially beautiful whites and I sold them as show dogs or just pets I'd rather them go to a good pet home and be loved anytime but that was it raising Pomeranians and also I like to garden I did a lot of gardening flowers and things like that um, number four what does your reborn mean to you well I think you can tell that they mean a lot to me because I'm always holding one. Uh, I always have one in my arms. And what they mean to me is relaxation. It brings out a, a good feeling. I just love them. I love them like they were real babies. I know they're not real babies, but I love them. And each one of them has a special personality to me. How could you not love that little face? Um, she's the Esme Sculpt by Diddy Jacobson. But to me, they're just... Fun. It means fun. It means relaxation. It means joy. It just brings out a lot of good. I can't think of anything bad that they bring out. Except maybe um, an obsession with different things. But you just have you can have an obsession with things no matter what you collect. You just have to get a handle on it. But yeah, they're just they're wonderful. They bring out lots of good things for me only good things. I love each and every one of them. Number five, what was your favorite place to live as you were growing up? <clears throat> Pardon me. Believe it or not, I have lived on this same road since I was seven years old. And before that, I, I lived just about 20 miles away. So the house that my parents live in now, I lived in, um, we had it built when I was seven. So, um, that's my favorite place, and that's home. It's My brothers and sisters were born um, and taken home from the hospital to that home. So that is really home for all of us, and even my daughter. She, That's just Nana and Paws. You know, it's the only place they've ever lived, and it's just home, and that feels safe, and it just feels wonderful to know that your parents are in your childhood home. It feels good, and I think it's important when kids are growing up to feel safe and and have that good feeling but they just live two houses down so I've lived on this same road you could say since I was seven years old um, the house that I live in was my great-grandparents um, they lived in it for many years and raised three children in this house while they were living in this house they had a daughter that was a nurse in World War II and a son who was in World War II and they had flags back then. I don't know if they still do. They gave them a little flag with a star if you had somebody in the military and you hung it in your window. So they had two two flags hanging there. 
and they raised three children while living in this um, house. Of course, my great grandparents are gone now, and and my, their children are all gone. So this house has been here a long time. Now it's been completely remodeled with new windows, new roof, new everything, but it still feels like Granny and Pa's house. Um, I used to ride my bike down here when I was a little kid for mom and dad's it's just a hop and a skip and I really thought I was doing something to ride my bike down here and visit with granny and pa so yeah it's a safe place to live it does, I've lived on the same road it's, there's not a lot of traffic out here when I first we first moved out here it was a whole um, bunch of people that had little kids and now all those little kids have grown up and they're in their 40s and many of the older folks have passed away, but I think my mom and dad are the last ones of the original people who lived on this road that are still alive. And uh, daddy's 83, so that tells you something. But that would be my safest place, right here on this road, right there in mom and daddy's house. I can actually see if somebody turns in their driveway through the window right here. So yeah, that was a fun tag. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to tag three people. I tag Toledo Girl, RSR65, and Gail Grady. So if I called your name, you're tagged. And anyone else in the Reborn community that wants to do the tag, join in. Have some fun. I think these tags are fun because they help us get to know each other better. All right, well, thank you, and we'll talk later. God bless. From West Texas, bye-bye.